Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm going to try and keep this intro nice and short, but it's been a bit of a crazy couple of weeks. Um, since I posted a video on TikTok of me uh, repointing and cleaning a patio, you, you guys might have already seen it on my shorts, um, a chap from Wales contacted me, bearing in mind I'm in the Midlands, and he said I've got exactly the same patio, it's just a lot bigger, it wraps around the whole house, and I'd like you to come and clean it for me and repoint it. And so it's like the worst time of the year to do this kind of job. It's gonna be pretty backbreaking work, just being on my hands and knees all day. I was hoping to get someone with me, um, but I couldn't get anyone last minute. And I sort of wanted, because I'd be booking a hotel and staying overnight and stuff, I wanted someone that I already knew. I didn't just want to get some random bloke to come and stay with me. Um, but I haven't been able to get anyone, so I've booked an extra night, give myself an extra day to get down there and, and get set up and, and start work. Um, I'm just praying that the the pointing between all the slabs is nice and soft so I can so I don't need to whip out the angle grinder, although I have got it with me. He's obviously seen the results of what I got on the last video and um, I'm pretty confident I can get something fairly similar for him this time around. So I've just picked up some knee pads to go in my scruffs trousers. Um, I've got all my waterproofs, I'm all fueled up. I'm pretty much ready to go, I think. I think I'm gonna have to get myself in the zone of just like headphones on. I'm pretty sure the weather's gonna be naff, like it's supposed to be raining for the next two days. And so I'm pretty much gonna be on my hands and knees in the rain, scraping out mortar from between the slabs. I've got a, I've got 40 liters of Nuclear Pro from Pure Seal, and we've got about 10 tubs of that jointing compound that I buy from Wix. Um, hoping 10 is going to be enough, but it's a pretty large area. I'll show you when I get down there. So I'm just in, still in Redditch now. I'm about to leave. It's going to take me about an hour and 50 minutes to get there. Uh, have a look around, get booked in at the hotel, and then start on a big day tomorrow, I think. See you there. Okay, I've arrived. What a beautiful, beautiful place. This is the uh, jointing compound. Hoping that's going to be enough, 10 tubs. This is the patio. Wraps all the way around the house. It's in fairly poor condition, but I can see in some spots where they've uh, cleaned it before. The colours are going to really pop. It's going to be amazing. Very large area. You have to pull out everything from between these joints. Some places it looks really, really soft where the moss has got in there. And other places it looks like I'm definitely going to have to get the angle grinder out quite a bit. Take it around the side. You see this has all been cleaned before. It comes up amazing. Hopefully I can get it looking a lot better than this. Big old area. And then all the way around the back. It's a mammoth job. I've got, originally it was going to be two days to get all the grout out and clean. And I was, I wanted to have an extra person with me, but I couldn't get anyone last minute. So this is all going to be done by myself across about two and a half days. I'm gonna start now and uh, see how far I get. I'm hoping, hoping I can get it all done there. It's so windy and it's due to rain as well, so it's gonna be great. It's gonna be amazing before and after though, isn't it? So I've got a few wobbly slabs that I've pulled up. Um, this was included in the quote as well to just, uh, Rebed some of these, so I'm going to do that today just so it hopefully sets by tomorrow. Then I can have a real good day on it tomorrow.
Okay, so I'm back at the hotel. Just checked in. Um, it started absolutely chucking it down, and I only wanted to just do a few test patches anyway, just to see how easily the um, the pointing was coming up from between the cracks. It's not a hammer and chisel job. It's pretty much most of it, I think, is going to be for the grinder. Um, luckily, the new attachment I got, it's like a mortar rake, I think it's called. That was tearing through um, the pointing really well, actually. It's going a little bit quicker than I thought it would. And it's quite effective. It's like, it makes a nice, easy, manageable cut, nice and wide. Um, It's supposed to rain again all day tomorrow, which I'm a bit um, upset about, but I kind of expected it. I've got full waterproofs in the van. Um, I'm fairly confident I can get the uh, the grouting raked out tomorrow if I spend all day on it, even if I'm going to be in the rain getting soaked. Hello. I've got soaking wet pants, so I need to change my pants already, and then I'm going to go and find some dinner and uh, get the laptop set up. Maybe do a bit of editing tonight. Play some Fortnite with Sophie. Keep in touch. <laughs> but yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, it's one o'clock, and I've scraped everything out. The majority of it has been an angle grinder job. Done this whole area. All the way to about the door here and then I've come to, down this way and done this whole bit as well hands and knees on and off rain <sighs> my grinding disc is dead luckily the owner he actually ordered one yesterday because he saw how effective it was the owner's ordered another one but I'm gonna go and get some lunch now I'll probably pop to screw fix and see if I can get another one Still got a hell of a lot left. I think, uh, I mean, th this is, this stuff over here is gonna be a bit softer, I think, but there's a lot more moss. So I can probably get a lot of that out with the chisel. Whew. There's still a big old area left. I think I might need an extra day here. I was hoping to start cleaning tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen. <sighs> it's tough, man. Really tough. Absolutely covered. <sighs> Fuel of gods. Okay. End of day one. I'm calling it day one. Um, I did work at about two hours yesterday, but um, that was just to sort of get a feel for what I was working with, get a feel for the material, get set up and have a look around and talk to the owner and all that sort of stuff. But today I've done a full day. It's it's probably been I think half eight I started till about half four. About forty five minutes for lunch, just because I was waiting in the McDonald's queue for God knows how long. Um I feel rough man, I feel this is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done, I think. Just in terms of the stamina, the the pain now in my back and in my hands, um, I've definitely totally underestimated this job. Um, and I'm grateful that um, the owner he's so understanding and so helpful, and I I think he he knows as well that I've I've come a little bit unprepared. Um, I even put. <laughs> In, in the quote, he asked me to uh, to reset a couple of the slabs that were loose around the, the property as well. And that didn't go so well. Um, wasn't really comfortable doing it. And I uh, I think I messed it up. They were, they were just laid them down slightly too high. And the mix that I used, I used five to one, five cement to one sand. And it didn't set. Um, and so they were too high. They didn't set. And so I came to it today and they were still, they were, they were no good yet. We had to pull them up and bless him, he's, he's been out there sorting that today. I'm, I'm removing that from the quote, that's not, um, I'm obviously not gonna charge him anything for that and I've just said, look, I'm, I'm not really equipped for this, it's not really what I do generally. Um, I focus on the pressure washing side of things and that's what I'm pretty good at. 
Um, and he said, oh, don't worry, you know, I'll, I'll sort that bit. And uh, and he's gone and got some bits from the shop and he's he's made his own mix and he's sorting all that. So it's a little bit embarrassing for me, but um, I think you've just got to own up at times like this and just admit that, you know, this maybe isn't my strongest suit, the, you know, the landscaping side of things. I've done a bit of landscaping here and there, but it's stuff that I know I can, I can pretty much do. Um, I'm going to have a shower now. Like I'm, I'm looking forward to this hot shower. Unfortunately, they've not got a bath here. Best Western. I could have done with a bath, really. But <laughs> I'm going to have a nice shower. I've got some food from Aldi. I've got a couple of beers. I'm going to get up early tomorrow. I think I'm going to have to extend my stay because I, I, I've got about... I'd say I'm, I'm just over halfway now. So it's taken me all day to, to get halfway through the grinding. And I've still got probably about 40% again to do tomorrow. Um, it should be a bit easier because the, the side that I've left till last is the softest side. Um, but it, it's still like, it's still probably going to take the, the majority of the day. I might get around to the washing tomorrow, but I think I'm going to have to extend the stay to another night, which is like another 65 quid. It's another, you know, breakfast. It's, it's another lunch. I think... In hindsight, I should have definitely got another person with me at least, and definitely booked a bit more time. I need to get another couple of blades, at least another two blades for the angle grinder. Oh my God. Right, I'll see you in the morning. Day two. Looking nice out here today. I had to pick up a couple of extra discs. Because, uh, they're wearing out pretty quickly, so I've got all this left to do and this section. I've done the end bit there. <sighs> Dearie me, at least the sun's out. It's cold, but like, what a nice place. It's gorgeous. Finished with the grinding, just gonna have a sweep up. Customers just bought me a McDonald's. Oof. Enjoying this weather, it's really nice out here today. Home brewed. I don't know if you can see, but the colours are definitely coming through. Still got quite a few black spots, but 
Yeah, those colours are popping now. Look at that. Beautiful. Getting a bit dark now. Gets dark at about half four now, doesn't it? Just got this last little bit to do and then I'll rinse it down. Right, all done. I am exhausted. That is the, the most work I think I've ever done. All on my own. Need, really could have done with an extra guy. This took about a day and a half longer than I expected it to. Just totally unprepared, unequipped, inexperienced. <laughs> But I've learned a lot and it's come up really nice. The colours, colours are amazing. Customer's happy. Got some more work from the neighbour over there and another one of his friends down in Newport got a similar size patio. So <sighs> I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go home and see Sophie now. I'm really excited just to get in the van and just sit down for a bit. Oh. Awesome. Let me know what you think in the comments.